throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Crocodiles are the largest living reptiles in the world. Survivors of the dinosaur age, immensely strong and fast, and a clear danger to people living in places where the animals are indigenous. In ancient Egypt, one of the fiercest and most unpredictable gods of their pantheon was modeled after their native crocodile species, Sobek. Also called Sebek, Sobki, or Sukhos. Sobek is the god of the Nile River and all of its resources and creatures, as well as a god of strength, pharaonic power, fertility and virility, protection, and military prowess. He protects those he loves or for whom he feels responsible with righteous fury, but menaces all others with the savagery of a beast, making him among the most ambivalent of the Egyptian pantheon. Sobek is depicted as a large Nile crocodile or as a muscular human man with a crocodile head. He is often seen wearing the hem hem crown, set on ram horns and flanked by ostrich feathers, with a sun disc and the Uraeus symbol. Sobek is the son of Neith, a war goddess associated with the waters of chaos, who is said to have birthed him with no need for a father. In other stories, Sobek's father is Set, the malicious god of storms and violence and the brother and killer of Osiris. Yet another myth suggests that Sobek emerged alone from the primordial dark waters of chaos. And from the waters of noon, he called forth the land, laid eggs upon the bank, and brought order to the universe. No matter his origins, Sobek remained synonymous with the Nile River. In some legends, it is said that he even created the longest river in the world from his very sweat. The Nile was of major importance to ancient Egypt, supplying water and food, acting as transport for travel, trade and commerce, and fertilizing the banks for farming crops. Because the Nile was so critical to Egyptian culture, Sobek was revered as one of the most important deities of the Pantheon. He was called upon for blessings of the Nile, such as abundant vegetable crops, safe travels along the water, and protection from crocodiles and other dangerous animals. By his association with the Nile, he was seen as a god of fertility, both personal and vegetative, bestowing sexual prowess upon his worshippers and fertility to women, even granting ease of pain during childbirth. For his protective nature and his unmatched ferocity, he acted as a patron for the military and a protector of the pharaohs and royal family against threats from both the living and spirit realms. It was said that he could even protect the justified dead in the netherworld, restoring their sight and reviving their senses. In mythology, Sobek was paired with a multitude of goddesses, depending on the story. Some stories claim that he was the consort of Renenutet, a snake goddess of nourishment and harvest. Others claim that he was the husband of Hathor, Tawaret, Meskinet, or Haket, all goddesses heavily associated with fertility and renewal. Despite alleged marriages to goddesses of fertility, and he himself said to have an animalistic sex drive, Sobek is rarely, if ever, described as having his own children. In many stories, Sobek was closely linked to the falcon god Horus, with some tales saying that he had aided Isis in giving birth to him, while some extant tales claim him to be Horus's brother or even father. 
In one story, Isis cut off Horus' hands and threw them into the river. Horus was rendered helpless and unable to rule. So Ra, the all-seeing sun, saw what had happened and ordered Sobek to retrieve the hands from the Nile. Though he searched for them long and hard, Sobek was unable to find the hands on his own. He then devised a clever trap, the world's first fishing net, that he dangled off the back of his boat and dredged along the bottom of the Nile. Looking into his net, he found the hands, along with thousands of teeming fishes of chaos. Horus's hands were restored to him, and Sobek ate all of the fish he had caught, freeing the river of their chaotic influence. On another occasion, when the four sons of Horus fell from a lotus into the river, Sobek once again used his fishing net to save the children from drowning. Though there are a number of stories where Sobek was helpful and caring, there are just as many that show him in a darker light. Born of chaos, Sobek would frequently side with chaotic beings such as Set. When Set had brutally murdered his brother Osiris, he went on to mutilate Osiris' corpse and flung the pieces into the Nile. Sobek, fully aware of the heinous act perpetrated by Set, went ahead to devour Osiris' body parts. For engaging in such a heinous act, Sobek was brought before the Council of Egyptian Gods and tried. The crocodile god was found guilty and punished, and his tongue was cut off. Stories such as this paint the image that, though he is not an evil being, he has an animalistic streak that he seldom controls, providing a natural chaos that starkly contrasts the order that the gods strive to maintain. Though a generous, protective, and multifaceted god, Sobek was nonetheless a fierce and dangerous deity. Like real-life crocodiles, Sobek was very much an aggressive and unpredictable being, acting off of a primal instinct that drove him to acts of savagery. The people of ancient Egypt worshipped Sobek in order to appease both him and crocodiles in general, as well as to ensure the fertility of their people and their crops, and to receive divine protection from tangible and intangible enemies. Sobek remains one of the most complex and easily recognized gods of Egypt, who like the Nile, acts as both a giver and a taker of life.